Now, you brought up a really good point right there that I want to elaborate on a little bit. You talked about the different styles of interviews. Mm -hmm. In some cases, they may have seen your essays. Mm -hmm. In some cases, they may not have. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit more. What's the difference between an open interview or a closed interview? How Mm -hmm. are these interviews actually set up? Um, Well, you could have a blind interview where you're going in and uh, the admissions... um, you know, person or say it's, you know, an MD that's interviewing you may not have seen your file at all. So they don't know your personal statement. They don't even know what undergraduate um, school you went to or anything. Uh, So, you know, it's starting off fresh. Um, Then you could have a partially blind interview where maybe they just reviewed your personal statement or they looked at your MCAT scores, your GPA, or vice versa, Um, but they haven't seen your entire file. So those are two examples. Um, There's also the um, multiple mini interview uh, where you're given different scenarios and they're testing your communication skills and your ethical decision making um, to see kind of how you handle things in different scenarios. Uh, They also have stress interviews too, uh, which I think are a little bit less common, where they kind of put you under the microscope and put you in stressful situations to see how well you handle pressure, because you're going to be put under a lot of pressure in medical school and making sure that you can handle that. And then you also have um, panel interviews as well. So you may have, say, three individuals that are interviewing you um, at one time and just rotating, asking you questions as well. I want to come back to two of those interviews in just a moment, the idea of the the stress Mm -hmm. interview and the MMI, the multiple Mm -hmm. mini interview. Mm -hmm. But before we get there, I want to pause for a second and and remind our audience that's watching online that if you have questions for the show, you can go ahead and send them to us online. You can either tweet them to us using the hashtag Kaplan Pulse, or you can send them to us directly via email at the address thepulse at kaplan.com. Okay? So let's go back to these these two types of interviews. Mm-hmm. Let's start with the stress interview that you mm-hmm. mentioned. So mm-hmm. this is actually kind of a horror story, an urban legend mm-hmm. in some cases amongst mm-hmm. amongst pre medical mm-hmm. students. The idea of the interview question or the interview that's designed specifically just to stress you out. Mm-hmm. I think uh, the one that I've most commonly heard of is the the, the window that you're supposed to open that's actually mm-hmm. locked shut or, or nailed shut mm-hmm. and cannot physically be opened. Mm-hmm. How often does that actually happen? Um, I wouldn't say it happens that frequently anymore. I feel like students are more worried about the MMIs now um, because they are the newer form of interviewing and some students kind of see the MMIs as the stress interview um, Mm -hmm. and I think that's more so because they're not really sure what the MMIs mean and there's a lot of misconceptions on what it is Um, but it's really just you know how can you handle different scenarios on your feet Um, and whether it's the stress interview or the MMI I would say you know don't get overly flustered because that's when things are going to start to go downhill for you so you know if a situation is starting to get stressful just take a breath you know I always tell my students it's completely okay to not have the answer immediately you can take a minute to think about what and how you're going to answer it and that's completely okay and that's actually expected so um, if that does happen to you or you find yourself in one of those situations just take a second gather yourself and then go from there I think it's a great tip. Often students feel like they have to, to rush into mm-hmm. the response to the interview. Mm-hmm. Um, now, in regards to the MMI specifically, I want us to pause for a second and just make sure that everyone's on the same page in terms of what an MMI mm-hmm. actually is. So for those who aren't familiar, an MMI, or a multiple mini interview, is a newer process that's actually coming from the Canadian medical schools, mm-hmm. where uh, rather than one lengthy interview, you have a series of, of significantly shorter interviews on the order of five to 10 minutes. Uh, and the interviews really focus around a single question or a scenario, perhaps, mm-hmm. where you're asked to just sit down and respond to that that situation. Um, I think we're going to see some examples of those a little Mm -hmm. later on tonight when we get to the the mock interviews. Uh, But I know that the MMI, the reason I bring it up is because I know it's gaining popularity. Mm -hmm. Uh, I believe last year only about 13 medical schools used an MMI Mm -hmm. process, Mm -hmm. but it's something that's that's gaining in popularity and getting more popular every single year. Mm -hmm. Uh, Where do you see the MMI going? Are are all of our students going to see that in the near future? Um, I think it's going to become more and more popular and as talking to admissions directors I have heard that you know some of them are learning how to do the MMI and preparing their medical schools for you know implementing it at their medical school so it's definitely not going away if anything it's definitely going to become more popular.